When God gets angry, get out of the way. It doesn't matter who you are. It does not matter who you are. Heathen or saved, not saved, it doesn't matter. When God is angry, get out of the way. When I was a teenager, in my darker days, before I was born again, I used to attend dances. One of the things that I used to do that I do not approve of now, I used to attend dances. And there was this one place I was at where there was a long hallway from the entrance doors to the dance floor. And I was in that hallway and there were uh, several other people in that hallway. I don't know, maybe a 10, maybe a dozen people lined up down this hallway. You know, some were standing with their backs to the wall. Some were just standing in the hallway talking to other people. Well, I was there too. And this one guy came in and he was angry. I don't know what happened to him. I don't know what the issue was, but he, he stormed through those doors and he was irate, okay? He walked down that hallway and he punched everybody in the face that was in that hallway. Everybody. He's boom, 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 boom. Everybody, as he was walking, he shot everybody in the face, okay? I walked out with a black eye. Now, I don't know what happened to that guy. I don't know what his issues were. He was angry. Looking back at that and looking at the scripture, I can say, when God gets angry, sometimes God can get angry enough. You just got to look out. You got to get out of the way. Think about Noah's flood. God was angry. Every pregnant woman, every woman, every child, every baby, every grandpa and grandma. If you got in the way, if you were not on that ark, you got it. I mean, you got it. Look at Sodom and Gomorrah. Same thing. Get out of the way. If you don't leave, you're going to be hit. Okay? We look at time and time and time again where you have to protect yourself. Think about the Passover in the days of, of Moses. Okay? Even the precious children of God, even the precious children of Israel had to stay locked up in their homes with blood on the door. They had to get out of the way. God was angry with Egypt. God was angry with the pride of Egypt. God was angry with the fact that Egypt killed the firstborn to try to kill Moses. Now he's going to go and kill their firstborn. When God is angry, get out of the way. This is the premise that all Christians who really preach repentance stand on. I know a lot of people, they're like, well, what does it matter if your neighbor, what, what is what your neighbor does in, in his bedroom or her bedroom? What does it matter their personal life? Like that saying, to each his own, okay? It's like, whatever they do in their bedroom, just that's, that's up to them, okay? But the Christians who really care about lives, the Christians who really care about their country, preach repentance. They care about what happens behind closed doors. Their neighbors, their strangers across the street, doesn't matter. Okay? Because when God gets angry, people will suffer and people will die. So when you see preachers standing out on the street preaching repentance, yeah, they're talking about your personal life. Yes, they are. Are they trying to be fascist? Well, I mean, it can't be any more fascist than what we're seeing going on in the world right now. Are they trying to rule over you? No, they care. They want you to repent. They want you to experience the joy of the Lord. They want that heavy burden to be off your shoulders. And I tell you, by experience, when I got born again, I didn't know what kind of burden was on my shoulders until it was gone. It's like, wow, I feel so much free. But more than that, true Christians, true preachers of repentance care about lives and souls. Not only do they not want to see you 
experience the wrath of God after you die. But they don't want you to experience the wrath of God in the here and now. Because, again, when God gets angry, get out of the way. And I want to give you guys some homework. If you like these videos, download them now while you can. Go back in the archives in my channel. Go back in all the different videos that I've ever produced and posted. Download them. Share them with your friends. Because one day, they might not be available. Download them now while you can. And also, don't forget to share and subscribe.